there, gang. I'm my radar meteorologist, Matthew Capucci, in a very soggy Washington, D.C. We're monitoring this area in the northwest and Caribbean as having at least some chance of tropical development into next week. The National Weather Service is also pretty bullish on the odds of something happening in that zone. Weather models all pretty much hint that something could form in that region, and if it does, there's a good chance it'll be steered north into the Gulf of Mexico. There's a wide range of possibilities, though, and keep in mind that's predicated on something forming at all, which isn't a guarantee. Keep in mind, though, it is peak hurricane season, and water temperatures here are between 86 and 90 degrees. In addition to just being hot, they're running several degrees above average, which means that part of the Caribbean is replete with oceanic heat content. It's like a powder keg of fuel, hurricane fuel, that is untapped, by the way, so if something does pass over there, it could get bad rather quickly. Suffice to say, this is something we should talk about. If you haven't already, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, too. I'm getting really good at TikTok. And follow my radar across the board on all social media platforms as well. So diving right in. By Sunday, we probably have a broad area of low pressure and diffuse spin over Central America. It'll be unsettled, probably give some showers and thunderstorms like Guatemala, Honduras, the Yucatan Peninsula, just unsettled weather stormy you know how it is this time of year but we call this thing the central american gyre or cag like we said it's kind of broad spread out low pressure and weak spin that kind of sits in place and is like a weird atmospheric whirlpool for a few days but the concern is any thunderstorm complexes embedded within this larger mass of rotating air might kind of focus that vorticity or spin enough to give us a local vorticity maximum or a little vort max we call it that could be the seedling of a later storm if we are able to tighten and consolidate that spin, we might get a name storm to form over the Northwest Caribbean. And remember, if that happens, any possible storm would be embedded in the overall counterclockwise flow of the Central American Gyre still. So that would influence steering and probably scoop the storm north into the Gulf of Mexico. From there, uncertainty abounds. We can say with confidence that weather models are really increasing their likelihood that something forms in the Northwestern Caribbean. You see a lot of L's right there. That's a bunch of different models all saying, hey, there could be a tropical low pressure system. So again, the seedlings will likely form. What happens after, we're just not sure yet. Definitely stay tuned to this one. Remain abreast of later forecasts. It is hurricane season after all. We should all be living in a heightened state of awareness. And of course, we're my radar. We got you covered every step of the way. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, and Windows.